Recently, NASA, using the TESS telescope, was able to capture how a huge black hole is tearing to pieces and swallowing a star the size of our sun. But we don't really know what will happen with these torn up bits of the star after its destruction. We can't see inside of black holes. A black hole's gravity is so strong that even photons of light radiation are unable to get out of its vice-like grip. Nevertheless, let's hypothetically try to look into a black hole, relying on the latest discoveries of intrepid scientists. The first thing that catches one's eye is the spiral disk made of gas and dust, which is formed due to the strong gravity surrounding a black hole. According to physicists who consulted on the film Interstellar, a black hole's rotation creates a distortion of the light that reflects its surroundings. So thousands of illusory images of the same stars and galaxies should be visible around it. The hole itself, provided it's isolated, is a completely black patch of space. As for the form, some American astronomers have presented a computer-generated hypothetical image of a black hole. In their opinion, it has the shape of a crescent. The fact is that the side facing an observer is always brighter than the opposing side. And the dark circle in the center of the crescent is the black hole. So in general, you'll see a rather impressive but far from extraordinary sight. It will be quite a different story if the hole were to begin swallowing a person right before your eyes. In this case, what you witness will be more than passing strange. Imagine that, say, your acquaintance by the name of Alice fell into the gravity well. Will this be her journey to Wonderland like the heroine of the famous fairy tale? From your point of view, probably not. As Alice approaches the conditional boundary of the black hole, the event horizon, her body will change. It will stretch in length and narrow in width, gradually turning into something like a long string of spaghetti. The closer your acquaintance gets to the event horizon, the slower, from the way it will look to you, will be her speed. When Alice reaches this boundary, she'll look as if she is frozen in place, as if someone has paused a video. We find this a convenient moment to shout to Alice and warn her of the danger. But you'll not be able to communicate with your friend because in the vacuum of space, sound waves can't travel. But you can successfully send her signs with Morse code using the flashlight on your iPhone. Only now the signals will reach Alice with increasing intervals and the frequency of the light of the flashlight will shift towards the red, long wave portion of the spectrum. Here's what it will look like. Save However, warnings will not be able to help your friend now. No space object or celestial body can escape the event horizon of a black hole. But wait, might it be possible for huge spaceships with powerful engines? In the 2009 Star Trek movie, the Starship Enterprise, which weighs about 2 million kilograms or 4 million pounds, managed to free itself from the gravitational pull of a black hole. To do this, these spacefarers blew up an energy reactor behind the ship, and the force of the explosion allowed them to overcome the gravity. Although in reality, according to experts, for such a maneuver to work, a spaceship would have to be a thousand times heavier. That is, weigh about 24 million tons or 53 billion pounds. Such a ship could produce more than two octillion joules of energy, sufficient to save it from a black hole. Clearly, Alice would not be able to overcome such strong gravity under any circumstances. You will observe how she remains for some time stretched along the surface of the event horizon. Then she'll be swept by the ever-increasing heat of hawking radiation. Soon, only a handful of ashes will remain from your friend's body. But don't rush to hold a funeral for her just yet. Perhaps everything's not as bad as it looks. To find out, imagine yourself in Alice's place. According to scientists, there are two possible scenarios. Let's say that you're drawn into a small black hole. Such 
Objects have very powerful gravity, obviously. In our first scenario, let's assume it really will stretch your body into something like pasta, tear off your head, flatten you, and smash you into atoms. Another variant is that you'll fall into a sort of trap in the huge black hole. Astronomers have recently captured one such giant using the Event Horizon Telescope. This giant is located in the galaxy Messier 87 in the Virgo Cluster, at a distance of about 50 million light years from Earth. In size, this space monster exceeds our entire star system, and its mass is 6.5 billion times larger than that of our solar system. In its gravity well, everything will change and become quite strange. You'll fly straight to one of the most sinister points in the universe, and at the same time experience nothing. First, you'll easily cross the event horizon without feeling the heat of Hawking radiation. Then you'll begin to fall directly into the black abyss that opens before you. At the same time, you won't feel the slightest shaking, stretching of space, or time stretch that occurs in black holes, all because you'll be in free fall and won't even feel your own weight. In the meantime, Alice will have witnessed how you were fried in the event horizon and will be able to collect your ashes. That is, you'll simultaneously be outside the black hole in the form of a handful of ashes and inside it alive and unharmed. In order not to violate the laws of physics, to be in two places at once, it can't be in the same form in both places. True according to the general principles of quantum mechanics, information cannot be cloned. However, in your situation, no paradox will arise since no one will know you have been cloned. Alice will see one of you, and you will be the only witness to the other. You'll never meet again and will not be able to compare observations. Unfortunately, there'll be no third person who could simultaneously see you both outside and inside the black hole. As you fall, space-time will become more and more curved, and towards the center it will be infinitely curved. This point is called the gravitational singularity. Space and time cease to have any meaning here. All the laws of physics as we know them, that an understanding of these two concepts are necessary for, no longer work, but you will have been floating for an immeasurably long time to this point in very weak gravity into a huge hole. Thanks to this, theoretically, you can exist normally inside it until the end of your days, until you die in a gravitational singularity. You may even stand a chance to outlive the Earth because time inside a very large object flows much more slowly. However, you may not have to spend the rest of your days in the black hole. The general theory of relativity is symmetric in time. So according to scientists, if there are black holes, there might be some kind of white hole opposite to them. White holes do not absorb everything around them like black holes do. On the contrary, they spit out what's inside them into alternate universes. It's impossible to get into a white hole. If you come out of one, it will be a one-way ticket. You will forever remain in this parallel world, and there's no way of knowing what it will be like. But this opens up a lot of room for speculation and imagination. Ever thought about the choices you made in your life? What if you didn't get this job but that one? What if you had met the neighbor girl or boy instead of spending all your days in front of the computer? Perhaps, in the alternate universe, you'll have another chance to explore these options. In addition, some scientists suggest that there are an infinite number of alternate universes. In each of them, there's a completely different you. If they're right, then in parallel worlds, you'll have an opportunity for endless experiments on your fate. So far, of course, these are only hypotheses. But apparently, soon we'll be able to find out how true they are. Scientists are already creating black holes in laboratories to better study them. For example, researchers from the University of Milan modeled black holes from fiber optic cable. And physicists from the Israel Technical University 
created an acoustic analog of a black hole in the laboratory. It's a condensate of cold rubidium atoms divided into two zones. Both groups of scientists have now indirectly confirmed the existence of Hawking radiation. In the future, they'll certainly learn more about the structure of black holes. If these space objects actually turn out to be portals to other universes, endless possibilities might open up for mankind. But that's a completely different story for another time. In the meantime, if this was interesting for you to mentally peek inside a black hole, quickly give us a thumbs up and click on the bell so that you don't miss any new releases. Many more of the most interesting topics are still yet to come.